Clinton fine, the digital manipulations and machinations. Fine is a San Francisco-based South African artist, sharing his political views with the world through the medium of digital media. Apartheid drove Fine away from South Africa, as he is an outspoken man and a fierce defender of First Amendment rights. Fine was even involved in a landmark Supreme Court lawsuit in 1998 through his company, Apollo Media, which challenged a provision of the Communications Decency Act. The portion of the act which Fine challenged made punishable by felony charges any communication that is obscene, lewd, lascivious, filthy, or indecent, with the intent to annoy, abuse, threaten, or harass another person. Former Attorney General Janet Reno, under the Clinton administration, took on the case in court. This exhibit includes controversial ideals, and the works in it explore themes that are all connected, such as racism, nationalism, censorship, gender, war, and appropriation of iconic images from pop culture and mass media history. Today, Clinton Fine remains the president of the First Amendment Project. I think that when I first walked in here and started looking at all the pictures in the exhibit, I was almost slightly offended. But I do think that people need to be offended to realize that these topics should be talked about. For example, for the John Benet Ramsey display, I came in and I was pretty shocked to see her on the Tickle Me Elmo there. But I guess it's essentially exactly what they're doing in her memory. They're exploiting her memory, glamorizing her death, and sexualizing her being. And it's pretty offensive, so we need to talk about it, because it's exploitation of minors, and people are finding sexuality in children. That's becoming a huge problem in society today. We're here with Mickey, sitting right here, and it really caught me off guard. But after reading what it was about, I really understood it. It was intriguing.